Hi guys, it's Coral here from Getaway Outdoors in Belcatta. We're at the beautiful Karen Up Waters Resort and I've got Alan here from Cedar Summit talking about the new Jetfoil Genesis. Hi folks, so today we're talking about the new Jetfoil Genesis system. So I brought one along today so we can have a little play with it in person. So first up, I'm going to start by opening the bag. So inside this bag, you're going to have a pot pan and the stove. So really lightweight, really compact system. So just going to pop that open. One lovely fry pan, one lightweight lid, one clamshell closed stove, which I'm just going to pop to the side there. And then we've got a large five litre flux ring cook pot as well. Good for my spaghetti. Perfect for the spaghetti. And on the inside of the bag, which we're not going to demonstrate today, we've also got a lightweight windshield as well. Not needed with today's conditions because it is beautiful and calm. But if you are in windier conditions, you can pop that onto your stove as well too. Um, increase your wind resistance and then last but not least the regulator that plugs that one into its fuel so nice and compact nice and compact so we're just going to open up the stove so you can have a look here so it's held together with two nice elastic straps so literally just attach use the lovely handle pull that one open and a couple of features you'll notice I'll just point out straight away on this guy here is you've got two red igniters so there are sparkers so inbuilt sparker and then obviously you've got adjustments for temperature control on both sides of the burner as well perfect so this guy is obviously the ultra lightweight car camping adventure stove so it comes with a regulator which means it's got fantastic simmer control um both burners are 10,000 btu rating each so nice super hot, hot. Yep. yeah beautiful yeah yeah should we pop a pot on and have a look okay we're gonna say <laughs> Perfect. So you can see straight away that you can use your pot and pan at the same time, being a double burner. Um, the pot, I'll just point out a couple of nice little features. So in the base of the pot, you've got your flux ring technology. So like all of your standard jet wall pots that use that flux ring, it allows it to be super, super hot. So it means it's really fuel efficient as well. Um, yeah. And what are these made of? You so these guys are a hard anodized aluminium pot and then the fry pan is using a ceramic non-stick coating. So perfect okay. if you are wanting to do pancakes, pikelets, um, sunny side up eggs, any of those things where you need a really nice. Obviously you've got to remember to use your non-stick utensils on that as well. I think um, Cedar Summit have some great ones as in a little pack. We do. We'll pull that some... one out later, I reckon. Have yeah. a little nose. Um, and it's always a good idea to take the pots off to burn, to start it up. Absolutely. I always, for any jet ball stove, get the stove going first so you can see that you've got it going and then pop the pot on or pan on. Yeah. Make sure if you're popping the pot on, of course, that you've got liquid in it so you're not going to boil that dry and overheat the pot in any way, shape or form. So these are a bit different um, with the fuel, aren't they, compared to your jet boils? So, yeah, yeah. so your standard jet ball stove runs on an isobutane blend whereas these guys actually run on propane so don't go and grab your jet ball fuel canisters for this guy leave them at home just grab a, one of the green tins of propane and that literally attaches to your regulator unit into the stove so really lightweight really compact uh, little unit there. Do you know how long that gas will last? Well it depends a little bit on the conditions you're using it in any which way I would say comfortably for us maybe a three to four day trip but again thinking about um, how much you're cooking are you cooking for a big group so we tried this out over New Year's Eve and found that we could comfortably cook for a group of four on one canister of fuel over three days and I still had fuel left Perfect. at the end of it and how long will it take to boil a litre, litre of water in your tea? looking at three minutes for a litre of water boiling on that one so you can have that cup of tea or coffee happening nice and fast so as you can see nice compact pot um, big enough for a whole family so you can do your pasta in this one um yeah come and have a look get away outdoors bell powder thanks ellen thank you